The first thing we'll do to get this laser controller working is we will plug in the power, which is 24 volts. To hook up the mains to the power supply, I'm going to use a standard extension cord that has 18 gauge wires inside of it. I'm going to use spay terminals. And to get the spay terminals on the wire, I'll be using a crimper, but you can use a normal type of crimper like that would be on this portion of a stripper or there are crimpers that have these. And you can also use the standard pliers, needle, needle nose pliers or something like that. I'm going to take the other end of the extension cord, which would be the, the female end, and I cut that off. And all I need to do is strip the insulation off of this portion of it. You want to strip about eight or seven millimeters or about a quarter of an inch. And simply crimp. Make sure the crimp is tight. Do that two more times. And then the ground wire. This is the neutral, this is the live, and this is the ground. Now I'm going to take the newly crimped spay terminals, and I'll take the black, which is live, and I'm going to put it underneath this metal piece here. Make sure you don't have this plugged in while you're doing this. The black is live, the white is neutral, and the green is earth ground. So now you have the live, neutral, and earth ground plugged in, fastened to the terminals. We can plug it in and we can test to, to make sure that our voltage read the correct values of 24 volts. Be very careful not to get your fingers anywhere near these terminals when it's live. Before you plug it in, make sure that you set the switch for 110 or 220 to the correct voltage that you have for your mains. Now plug the unit in. To verify that the power supply is plugged in and is working, the LED will be on. Now I'm going to test the, the terminals here for the output, the 24 volt DC output. I'm going to set it to DC voltage. The red lead will go to one of the positive voltage terminals and the black will go to the COM. And we can see that we have 24.18 volts and I'll test each one of these terminals. Okay, each of them are functioning correctly. Now we can take our power supply and connect it to the device that we need to power. In this case, it will be the laser controller. We'll connect the V plus to the 24 volt terminal and the common or ground to the ground terminal. Just like in the putting the mains wires to the spade connectors. We do the same thing here. Make sure that it's crimped correctly. And we'll put this one to the common. We're going to be using all of these terminals because we're going to be co connecting them to drivers. So I want to start from the end here. And this one will be connected to ground. We have common from the power supply connected to the ground on the laser controller. And this one will wire to the first terminal of the plus voltage. And finally to the 24 volt terminal for the laser controller. In the next video, we're going to take these motor drivers, one for each axis, and connect them to the laser controller. Thank you for watching.